Welcome to the big news, the only news that you should choose. Welcome. So, um, yeah, Prince Philip died, so we got told we have to do a show. Quite really um, indifferent about it, really. I didn't know him. Guessing he was a dickhead. He looked like a dickhead and a really seedy guy, but yeah, hey. Looks can be deceiving. Mm. Hey, at least now I can finally get a root. Come on, old Philip, only like little kids. Never got any action. Hey, I'm going out to town and getting some. What? Don't you say? No, I'm as alive as an eight-year-old. In fact, if we got an eight-year-old, I really feel like I want to break that down. Prince Philip, what do you say to the allegations that you are um, having a sexual affair with a space alien called Benji? It's like a woggy space alien, yeah? Oh, Benji? Benji's a space alien. And we do really prefer this stuff together. It's quite lovely. Hey, yeah, Boo Boo. Can't wait to see you later. <laughs> Kisses, sweetie. You're my big princey boy. Hey there, Prince Philip. Waiting for you to fill up me up. Oh, Benji's not really a space alien. He just had his top lip and his nose cut off to make him look like one. But then again, I'm not really a prince, am I? I'm just a dirty old perm. What are you doing when you see a spaceman? Parking it, man. Well, as a matter of fact, I was seeing Benji before he um, hooked up with Prince Philip. And, um, yeah, he never called me back, did he? You know, I can't even smell, so you don't even need to shower, baby. Okay, well, I guess I'll die now, then. Cheerio! Ah. Now, just so you're perfectly clear here, Prince Philip died because he wasn't wearing a mask and he wasn't social distancing and he was having some affair with a space alien called Benji. I want Philip's died. Oh, well, I'm Benji then and I guess I'm single and ready to mingle. Yay. Yeah, I think it's so embarrassing that my daddy Philip is... Bonking some gay alien called Benji. I'm so embarrassed. I'm not even going to show up to the annual orphan hunting barbecue we have when we go out and hunt orphans and then we barbecue them up and eat them. I'm so embarrassed. I'm not even going. I'm going to get takeaway orphan. Takeaway orphan. Oh, yes. Nothing like a bit of orphan brains to really put a bit of bounce back in your step. Mm. Works it tweet for me. Here on the fake news, we do not endorse the eating of orphans' brains or any other parts of their bodies. Really, is this the only job you got for me? Is this all I have to do? This is fucking bullshit. You're lucky you even got this job, Peter. If it wasn't for your bloody beautiful smile, which is mesmerised by, I must say. Oh, wow. So pretty. Oh, like this. Okay, then. Imagine the two richest men in the world sitting around talking 20 years ago at a lunch. What do you reckon they were talking about? Well, we had a guess. Here's what we came up with. Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is my buddy, Al Ron. We're thinking up ways of taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. Yes, that's right. We're thinking up ways of taking over the world. I'm ever so clever, you see. Ever so clever. I've got many, many ideas. Many. Well, you see, Jeff, I managed to obtain Nikolai Tesla's lost drawings and pretty much all these works, so... I'm just going to use those and sell it and make a lot of money. And then maybe go into space or something. <laughs> Who knows? Me? I'm going to start an internet selling company and, like, just sell stuff over the internet because people are going to get so fucking lazy. They're not going to want to go out to the shops anymore. Especially when we make everyone think there's a deadly disease that's going to fucking kill them. Yeah, we got a big plan. Big plan. So when's Bill Gates getting here? Bill will be along shortly. He's just seeing a therapist because of that whole psychopathy thing, you know. How is a psychopath? Here we are, 20 years later, and the plan's working perfectly. And, wow, I'm amazed at how stupid um, people really are. They're just stupid. <laughs> so I um, stole the electric car idea from Nikola Tesla, and, yeah, made my millions. Now I blow up rockets every day. Blowing up a rocket tomorrow. I can't believe that. We need to start dumping footage, don't we? We need to start dumping footage. Oh! Oh, God, it just blew up! It just blew up! It just blew up! <laughs> what?! And in world news, um, we just thought we'd like to inform you guys that there's no longer a country, Hong Kong. It's now gone. There was, like, a big, like, 
war in the streets like a couple of years ago and heaps of people died and, like there's people running around with machine guns army moved in just it was pretty chaotic i thought i was watching a computer game but it was actually real and yeah china have overtaken hong kong it's gone so um yeah <laughs> guess it's only a matter of time before they're over here doing this you know it seems like that's the plan i mean what do you see is going to happen in the future you know all these armies building up for something fucking all this covid bullshit for something really Anyway, do you know what I like to do when the world's on the brink of destruction? I like to say fuck it, bring it on, and make up a song. Because the world can get so serious, but you don't have to be. The world can go fuck itself, leave me in peace and harmony. This has been the fake news. (laughs) 